Stacy. This is As The Tea Brews. Today I wanted to share a tea haul with you from Bird & Blend. Bird & Blend is located in the UK and um, I really enjoyed some of their teas, especially their matchas. Um, I had their advent calendar and I get their monthly subscription box and uh, thanks to my mom, she gave that to me as a gift and she's renewing it for my birthday so that's um, that's fun, it's kind of like the gift that keeps on going. <laughs> um, and then I've been ordering uh, some teas in addition to um, enjoying them in the calendar and the monthly subscription box. So I've got two boxes. Um, a couple weekends ago they had a free shipping and I ended up placing two orders. One of them would have qualified for free shipping anyway. Uh, it's If you spend $90 then um, you get free shipping to the US. Um, otherwise the shipping can be kind of pricey but they did have pre free shipping that weekend for any amount um, and so I ended up the next morning placing another order for only like twenty or thirty dollars um, and I did use a coupon code uh, from Tea Leaf Project for the first order, the larger one um, and I tried, I have a couple codes, I have one that they sent me and then they always have a 10% I think when you reorder um, and I didn't, I thought that I put the code in and I guess I didn't and so I didn't end up getting a discount on the second one. Um, but what can you do? I should have, I should have been more careful. Anyway, okay, so I've got two boxes and um, I will start with, I'll start with the first one that I placed. Okay, so I, uh, the main reason that I ordered is because I was browsing on their website and I saw that they have, um, a matcha, matcha refills in larger amounts um, and you actually get a discount on the refills and so um, I wanted to order a large size of ginger nut matcha um, and so this says ginger nut biscuit matcha blend uh, it says it's good in milk or hot apple juice. I've never tried hot apple juice. I don't really buy apple juice. Um, but uh, I use vanilla soy milk with this most of the time. Sometimes I have oat milk or other kinds of milk. Um, I don't usually drink it just with plain water. I usually do half water and half soy milk. Uh, vanilla soy milk usually. And it says ginger nut biscuit green tea powder. This with the vanilla soy milk tastes like a cookie to me. It is so good and there's no sugar in it and um, it's just it's the green tea powder. Uh, all it is is green tea, ginger, cinnamon, natural flavor granules, and chili. Um, there's a little hint of that spice in there and the ginger and I just love this. This is my, I've had quite a few of their matchas. I'd say at least a dozen different matchas from them and this is my all-time favorite. This is the only one so far that I've ordered a refill of. I still do have tins um, of some of the other flavors. Um, I, the tins normally come in this size. This is the mermaid matcha. And I had a sample of this one from my advent calendar and we liked it um, and I should have ordered it the first time when I placed a large matcha order. I had ordered about five different kinds of matchas but they usually come in this 30 gram tin and this tin, the prices vary for this tin from about $22 to $30 depending on um, which flavor it is and I can't remember how much the mermaid one was but it's got that pea flower. Um, in it and so it makes it kind of a bright blue and it's supposed to change color. Um, I think if you add lemon, but I don't, that doesn't sound good to me. I wouldn't add lemon to my matcha. Um, but the girls tried, had a little sample of this one too and they liked it. Um, so I should have ordered this one, but I ordered the ice cream matcha instead. So we'll see now for sure if we really like this one or not. Um, all of my other tins that I ordered, I still have matcha in them. I am getting low on the, the low on the ginger nut one, um, but this ginger nut refill is 100 grams of matcha, um, and so these are 30 grams, and so this was about $30 for the ginger nut one, and this ended up being I think only like $62 uh, with the discount you get on the website, not with the discount code, but just by ordering the refill bag, and then plus the 20% off that I had. So it ended up only being like $62, I believe. Um, and that's like buying 60 grams of 
the matcha and this is 100 grams so really you're getting like 40 extra grams um, for free so this was a really good deal um, I'm going to probably put this in one of my cute tins I wrote on my comments I asked for a little label and um, I think I saw that they sent me one they're so nice they always write a personal little note on there too um, yeah, they sent me a little label to put on it so I can put this in a larger tin and put my little label on it without having to cut it out and uh, tape it on there. And so I'm super excited about that because that's my favorite. It's my favorite matcha, I think, of all of them. I'm drinking it today, um, half vanilla soy milk and half water. I have a little shaker ball in there and some ice and I've just been sipping on this the last couple of hours when I have been running errands and I haven't quite finished it yet. But it's so good. It's not overly sweet because there's no sugar in it. There, my milk is a little bit sweetened. But it really does taste like a ginger cookie to me. I love this flavor. It's so good. Okay, and then so I got the ginger nut matcha, mermaid matcha. I'm kind of rambling today. Sorry. Okay, so I also ordered peppermint cream. And this is Anna's favorite, uh, one of her favorites from Bird and & Blend. And she actually did send me a sample of this one and uh, it's an oolong with cocoa and peppermint and I really liked the cup that I had of this I thought it was really good um, and so I've had it in the back of my mind that I might order this one I'll show you guys the label and so since I was ordering and I got a discount I went ahead went ahead and ordered do I need extra teas right now that I am not positive that are going to be in my stash. Not really. <laughs> but, um, you know, I love tea. We drink a lot of tea. And so I know this will um, be enjoyed. And it might make it to my must-have list. Um, and then, let's see. So they sent me some samples. They sent... I guess I could put these down so I could actually use two hands. They sent me a mochi tea sample, green tea, peppermint, and lime. And I've got another bag or two of this. I still have some teas from my advent calendar that I haven't finished. And um, Earl Grey cream, and I think I have a bag of this also. Um, I forget the bags are in there. I put them in a separate little box away from my loose teas and I just forget about them. So I need to make a point to get those bags out and use those. And I saw one more sample in here. Salted caramel matcha. Um, so I have tried this one and I thought it was good, but um, the one sample I had, I had it hot and it didn't make the cut to order when I ordered all those tins of matcha. Um, we'll see if I like it this time. I might try iced this time and, uh, and change my mind. Who knows? Um, but I do really love their matchas. Most of their matchas I really loved. In my last video I mentioned that I didn't like something twist, tropical twist. Oh my gosh, I could not stand that one. But um, you know, everybody's tastes are so different. Stephanie from Tea Leaf Project commented that um, she loved that flavor. And so, you know, we're just all very, very different. And um, they have matchas that I think appeal to everybody. And for the most part, I love their matchas. That's been the only one that I completely disliked. Um, but I definitely have my favorites from them. Uh, ginger nut matcha, ice cream matcha. Uh, a couple others. I have a video that I talked about those two. Okay, and so then the next morning I decided that I wanted to order again a couple of other teas since they had the free shipping. Um, I wasn't going to order. I've been trying not to order too much tea, but my husband said something funny. I said, oh, I've been really eyeing these different teas on the Burden Blend. They have free shipping. He's like, just live your best tea life. And so I just thought that was funny. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to live my best tea life. Um, so two of these, let's see, I ordered three teas, and this is the only one that I've sampled so far. This is Nearly Nirvana. And I got this one either as a sample from Anna, we did a little tea swap um, a few months ago, or it might have come in my, um, my advent calendar, but um, I liked this one. It says it's a white tea with spearmint and jasmine. and. Um, I love mint and I really haven't been enjoying the white teas and I love jasmine too. So um, hopefully this will be a new favorite. And then two teas I ordered just because they sounded really good. Uh, this one is a, a cross between a rooibos and a black tea and I don't drink a lot of black tea. If you watched my 
channel very much, you know that um, I'm just not a big black tea fan. Unless it's a latte, I do like black teas as lattes, um, especially chais. Uh, but just straight, I just don't normally drink a lot of black tea. And most of my tea, 95% of my tea, I just drink plain. Hot, plain. No sugar, nothing in it. Um, so, this one is hot cross bun. And it just sounded really interesting to me. So, I'm excited to try it. I don't know, I may not like it, but that's okay. And then the other one that I ordered is one of their ones that are campaigning that you can vote for to bring back. It's an old one. And this one is called Candy Floss, which I think is like cotton candy. And uh, it's a white tea though. And it's got all these fruit flavors in there and white tea and some other things that aren't super natural. Um, but it sounded interesting. It said, join us at the fair with the sweet and scrumptious candy floss white tea. So that one just sounded really good. I was interested to try it. Um, and I guess I should have done the samples first. Let me see what's in here. Okay, so I have a gingerbread chai. And I have tried this one. I thought it was okay. Um, it's a rooibos. And then a strawberry lemonade. I have a couple of samples of, I have a couple tea bags of this one too already, um, which I have not had because I don't think that I will like it hot. I think I am waiting for the summer to make this one iced. And then another sample of the salted caramel matcha. So that's that. That's what I ordered from Bird and Blend. And I'm super excited to try some new teas. Um, I did finish off two tins of um, tea this morning. And so I just posted yesterday our empties for March and April, and this is May 1st. Um, and so I'm excited to be still on a roll with using up some teas that are moving out of our collection. Um, although I'm obviously adding to our collection, but I'm still working on both. I'm doing the sip, sipping down, and I'm also living my best tea life and trying new teas and having fun with it and really just enjoying having teas. So that's that. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And we'll see you next time. Bye. So I'm just putting away my teas and I had to hop back on. Um, I couldn't resist opening them all and smelling them. And you guys, these teas smell so good, especially this candy floss. And forgive me, I'm just kind of squatting in front of the camera here because I already put my stool away. Oh my gosh, this smells fruity and sweet. And I don't even know, it smells like strawberry. Oh, it smells so good. I cannot wait to try these. If you guys want any reviews on these, let me know, and um, I'll see you next time. Bye.